Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, good morning everyone. My name is Alda Emrata Listifaya and today I would like to present about Tanjung Merak Dwelling Time in 2018. Without any further ado, let's get started. So before we move to the case, this is uh, what you need to know is what is dwelling time. The World Bank 2011 defined what dwell time as the time that counted start from the cargo or containers is being unloaded from the ship until the container itself is leaving the terminal through the main door. Based on the INSW dwelling time dashboard data, as of January to the 25th, 2018, the port of Tanjung Perak, Surabaya reached 4.86 days. Based on the article, there are, there are several factors that affect dwelling time at the port of Tanjung Perak, including the, core, the first one is coordination between stakeholders. The coordination is required among all stakeholders, including government agencies and private parties. This is the good coordination can help reduce container waiting time. Now, the second one is the process of pre-customs clearance, custom, customs clearance, and post-customs clearance. These three stages involved multiple government agencies, private parties, including relevant ministries and private uh, and institutions. The, the efficient processes and improved coordination among agencies can help reduce dwelling time. And then the third one is productivity of loading and unloading of containers. The productivity of container loading and unloading at the port also affects dwelling time. If the loading and unloading processes are efficient, the container waiting time can be reduced. And then the fourth one is taking yard facilities or container yard facilities. This is crucial in reducing dwelling time. If the container yard capacity is insufficient, the containers will stack up for a longer period at the port. And then the fifth, the fifth one is inspection and approval process. The efforts uh, to address increased in inspection and expedited approvals can help reduce container build time at the port. And then number six is availability of goods owners warehouse and trucking fleet. The uh, availability of cargo owners warehouse and trucking fleets or built container yard transfer. After three days of staking at the container terminal can affect dwelling time. If there are limitations in this regard, the container dwelling time at the port may increase. Then the last is staking fees. The staking fees within the port can also affect the dwelling time. If the staking fees at the port are cheaper uh, compared to outside the port, uh, the importers will be more inclined to retrieve containers sooner, reducing dwelling time at the port. And there are several solutions that can be used for dwelling time at the port of Tanjung Bera, including the first one is improved coordination. The, co the close coordination is needed among all stakeholders, including government agencies, private parties involved in dwelling time process. The improved uh, communication and coordination among agencies can help uh, reduce barriers and expedite clearance processes. The second one is integration of pre-customs clearance process. The, the integrations of uh, existing online pre-customs clearance processes should be implemented. With this integration, administrative processes and document approvals can be faster and more efficient. And the third one is 24-7 in service improvement. The services from relevant agencies, uh, such as customs, 
need to be uh, available 24 seven, like the port operations. With continuous service, waiting, waiting time can be uh, reduced as processes can be um, conducted more efficiently. And number four is accelerated payment settlement. The importers need to expedite payment settlements to facilitate faster processing of goods documentation. With faster payments, clearance processes can be carried out more efficiently. Number six, uh, number five, I mean number five, uh, improved customs clearance coordination. The enhanced coordination between the terminal and relevant agencies is necessary to uh, expedite approval for filled container yard transfers. The better coordination can help reduce waiting time at the port. And then number six is provision of adequate stacking facilities. The uh, Investment in port infrastructure, particularly container yard facilities, is needed to um, increase capacity and availability of sufficient storage areas. And then the last is collaboration between public and private sectors. The collaboration between public and private sectors is crucial to create holistic solutions. Relevant parties need to work together to finding to finding effective solutions to reduce dwelling time. And the conclusion is dwelling time at the port of Tanjung Pera is still above the desired target due to ineffective coordination, complex clearance processes, limited facilities, and problems in inspections and approval. To overcome this problem, it is necessary to make collaboration efforts between the government, related agencies, and private sectors. The solution can be considered include uh, integrating the pre-customs clearance process, improving 24-hour service, and etc. With the right solution and good cooperation, it is hoped that dwelling time at the Tanjung Vera port can be reduced having a positive impact on trade and logistics as activities in the region. I think that's all from me. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.